just watched a video on catfishing. You've probably already heard of catfishing, but what about grooming? Grooming is the slow, methodical, intentional process of manipulating a vulnerable or emotional child. So groomers can include family members like a cousin, an uncle, an aunt, family friends, caregivers, a neighbor, a teacher, a coach, or an older peer. Some examples of groomings are comments that are too personal, especially about appearances, opportunities to be alone with someone when it's not appropriate, receiving or sending special gifts, sending out private messages that come after hours, and again, these are just some common examples of grooming. Groomers tend to do the following things. Groomers cross physical barriers. They tend to blame their victims. They have a threat of secrecy. They try to maintain control and they use their position of power to take advantage and intimidate their victims. So what can you do to stop abuse and neglect? You saw in the first two videos that the students decided that they needed to report what was going on. That's exactly what you should do. Report suspicious behavior. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, data presented has shown an increase in the measures of abuse. You do not need proof that someone is being abused or neglected. If you suspect something, say something. Students often know what's going on well before the adults do, and you're the first line of defense. If you or someone you know feel that they are being subjects to some type of abuse or being victimized, please tell a trusted adult like a parent, a counselor, an administrator, a teacher, a coach, or the school resource officer. Please be proactive. You can also report anonymously and always avoid vulnerable situations. So here are some resources. You can contact uh, any of the numbers that are provided by the handout that you will get this morning. You also have any type of emergency you, you would be able to call 911. And the process for reporting would entail you making sure that Mrs. Thomas, our principal, knows, and then Officer Larry as well. If uh, we need to report to CPS, Child Protective Services, and also protecting the rights for students in danger. Let your parents know your whereabouts. Travel in groups or with friends if you can. Do not accept gifts from people you don't know and don't accept invitations to be with an adult, especially if it puts you in a place or a situation where you are alone with them. And remember, always be very careful on social media. In cases of abuse, it's never the victim's fault. We have a responsibility to make a positive impact. You can make a difference by reporting and you can talk more with a trusted adult, such as a counselor, any teacher or any trusted adult at our school.